Okay, guys, I'm here today with Chad Q. Huge honor for me. Guys, Chad is a black belt from Paulo Guilherbel, and he also owns a jiu-jitsu school in the Southern California, and it's called Eleven Elevation. And the fun, interesting fact here about him as well, he's also very big uh, in the survival community, right, Chad? Yes, sir. I checked your Instagram, it was like thousands of followers, and it was a mix of jiu-jitsu and survival, which yeah. makes you even more interesting. Oh. And, uh, and uh, guys, uh, Chad just shot an entire instruction all about monoplata. And today he's going to show us here one of his favorite ones from guard. And uh, it, was a, it was a very cool one. And he goes from monoplata to monoplata. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Let's, do, let's it, do it. Thank you. There we go. So, yeah, I'm here. I'm going to basically come over like a standard arm bar. Okay. And I'm going to chop. But a lot of time my partner is going to pull this arm out. And when he pulls this arm out, it gives us the opportunity to come over into the mono or omoplata position. Okay, now from here, I want to jump over into the monoplata. So what I'm going to do is bring my butt onto Bernardo's back. So I'm going to sit up, pull my foot out, and start coming onto my partner. When he comes down, I'm into the monoplata immediately. And it's and really tight. Sorry, it's brother. Really, really tight. One more time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And just maybe we could get there like a even a different position, Bernardo. So I'm here. You pull out, I'm here. Let's say you're stacking into me and being really heavy. I could even pull you over this way. Uh -huh. And now I'll come back. Into Man, that's awesome. So Chad, every time you get the omoplata, you don't yes. want to finish the omoplata. You always chase the monoplata. So that's a great question. I actually look at that position right there as a transitionary position between monoplata and omoplata. Because it's not. I don't think of it like... I fully committed to omoplata until I try to sit up and break you down to your stomach. Yeah, right. You know, and then I'm asking because omoplata is one of my favorite techniques and one yeah. of my favorite submissions too. But uh, the way you were, you were doing, I, and now I think I got it because uh, I always go to the omoplata. Yeah. You get the omoplata, but you are not thinking about the submission. Yeah. You want to go to the monoplata. Yes, I do. I got I it. do. Oh. So I feel like that's like a crossroad. Like you make a yeah. left or a right. Yeah. You yeah. go monoplata, yeah. you go omoplata. Yeah. And then you're just kind of making that, that transition into monoplata versus the omoplata. Yeah. So, uh, and then say, if I could one more time. This is how I first learned the monoplata. So I'm here. I come over. Say I got into this omoplata position, but my partner rolls. Like if you were to do a roll, I would follow you into the roll and then transition and back, transition right? So that's like how everyone first learns the monoplata, right? Got it. But then I realized that you could get there without the partner even rolling. You just have to kind of understand like the fundamentals of how it finishes and then you could just chase after it. Got it. So uh, Chad, yeah. let's just go back there. Let's yes, just sir. talk about these concepts like in a very slow motion here so just everybody can get it. So you go to the arm bar, I defend it, and you get the open. So here's the position that you, you were, we were talking about. That this is kind of like the transition, right? You can yes. go right or left. So yes. when I go for the omoplata from here to get a submission, I try to force the opponent to put the chest on the ground, right? So yes. I would start stretching the leg. Yes. Stretching. Yes. Or pulling yes. my partner yes. down. So that's how yes. we go to the omoplata. Yes. So in order to go to the monoplata, what you do... You try to put your butt on my butt. That was the key. My butt to your back. So I'll actually, oh, to my back. Okay. Yeah, I'll actually take this foot out and then I'll start hopping up. Oh, okay. And you feel yeah. like this is a yeah. lot of pressure. Yep, yep, yep. Like you're, some people will tap because they don't yep. realize they can roll. Do yep. you know what I mean? So yep. they think it's checkmate, but they yep. a lot of people can just roll. And then you just make sure, and sorry I landed on yep. your hand. And, and what, what you're doing here that is so tight that I'm yes. already feeling like tapping. Yes. So what exactly you are doing over there in order to make this monoplata so efficient? So I could have blasted over you, yeah. Bernardo, and landed with my butt separated from you. Feel this separation with my butt from yeah. your rib cage? Yeah. And now what's happening is I've lost this 90 degree angle from your forearm to your bicep. Okay. So now it's 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 not going to be tight. And what would happen is I'm going to kind of transition you know, into okay. an arm bar. So if you're loose on a monoplata, it's it's because you're, you fell off and your butt's no longer connected to the rib cage. And then that's going to push you into right. arm bar territory. Okay. So you can know? you just uh, redo the monoplata from here? Just so everybody can... Okay. Yes, one, so I think like... one of the challenges for people doing monoplata, and for me too, it's like sometimes I try to do the monoplata, but I don't feel it's as tight as, as you are doing. So what are the details here? So you're trying to keep your butt versus my... So my butt was... If we could back up just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm here, my butt's against your rib cage, right? And I was okay. falling over. I want to make sure that I fall and I'm still like glued to his rib cage with my butt. So I okay. fall down 
and I'm still into that position, feel my rib cage yes. trying to pinch to my thigh, catch capturing your forearm like yeah. that. Feel Man, that? Sweet and then I'm just moving my butt. Ah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's incredible. No, and that's incredible. my partner Troy just did like, what, like, if we did 28 techniques and we did each technique like probably like five, 10 times, he took that to his shoulder so many times. <laughs> so you great. Might have, you might have a rubber shoulder at yes. this point. Yes, but yeah, that's the monoplata and we show the monoplata like how to get there from the back, the side mount, inverted guard, yep. um, even a flying uh, monoplata is in this DVD. Oh, that's incredible. So, pretty <laughs> much, so you're, you're pretty much taught an entire system to get monoplatas from everywhere. Yes. No, yes. yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, and, and we nerded out on it, you know, like that might be the name, right? Nerded I out love on it. I love the name, nerded out on the one of My whole gym nerded out on this for three, four months. You right. know, there's a lot of input from all my students and everyone just like staying focused. Uh, we probably like now have a whole bunch of holes in other parts of our game because oh, right. that's because all we can just to, now, no. uh, But no, we found a lot of great ones. No, and I was just telling you like uh, when I used to train at Marcellus in New York City, that was probably the way that I tapped the most because Marcellus was really good at that. And uh, he had a perfect time to go to monoplata from side control. And that was probably the way that he catched the most like uh, when we used to train together. So I, I, I know how dangerous it is. So. Well, yeah. I, I pre like I said, I appreciate you guys coming out here, giving us the platform to share. And no, man, I appreciate you coming. Yeah. So, guys, uh, uh, Chad just shot an entire structure all about monoplata. It's going to be at bjjfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Chad. Appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you. Thank That's you. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster.